The genocide indictment against General Ratko Mladic divides his crimes into various phases. The early part of the war around Priedor, northwest Bosnia, then the siege of Sarajevo in the center, and then finally the enormous catalogue of crimes that took place in this place in 1995, Srebrenica. The UN had declared the Srebrenica enclave to be a safe area. But in fact, as Mladic planned its capture, the Dutch UN troops who were meant to defend it had been abandoned by their higher commanders. Srebrenica was overrun and more than 20,000 frightened Muslim women and children crammed into the Dutch base. Mladic guaranteed the women and children safe passage but meanwhile, his troops hunted the men of Srebrenica. They were gathered in places like this school. The man who told us that, Mevlodin Orich, went back with us for only the second time since Serb troops brought him and hundreds of others here to kill them. Vidíš, liva, puna mrtvi. Ustaneš. Šta što ovdje bila gromca? Obišao sam pori, nije još ovdje. Mevlodin survived by playing dead among the corpses and at night he escaped over the mountains to government territory. Ovo je zemlja, puna krv. Mevludin Orich is haunted by the loss of his father, brother and numerous cousins and also by the fact that he still recognises Serbs around here from those killing fields. 